Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Julesy here from Julesy Designs and JT Creations. Um, I've not got the normal setup that I normally have at home. I'm filming here in Cyprus. Um, it's a little bit cold. It's not quite bikini weather yet. Um, but it's getting there. Now, my last video, it was um, just to music and it was where I was doing doodles on this kind of paper. It was what I'd um, painted myself uh, with pearlized paints. Then I scanned them in to get this. And then I did some watercolor doodles. It's not watercolor paper. And off camera, I carried on. I did some roses. I did some more doodles, as you can see. Now, what I want to do with these is I want to make ribbons, you know, the, the folded ribbons for the edge of my papers. Um, so I don't have a sewing machine. Normally, I would make them with a, a sewing machine. I'm going to do them uh, ruler width. And I'm just tearing them. I've got limited supplies here, although I have located um, an art shop in Nicosia. And we are going to visit um, people in Nicosia at the weekend. So hopefully <laughs> I'm going to get to have a look at the Cypress Craft and Art Shop. So as you can see, these ribbons, the quite pretty um, your doodles don't have to be perfect mine certainly aren't I am no artist at all um, yeah I did do art uh, at, at school and I did art at college but it wasn't my my, my main choice um, I did hairdressing when I left school but I went to night school um, to do extra art because I liked it. Um, but in them days, there certainly wasn't like the graphic design jobs and things like that that there is today. That kind of thing didn't entertain me at all. So as you can see, these strips of paper, they're quite pretty. Um, you could do this with wallpaper, you could do this with coffee dyed paper, anything you wanted. And I think this one's going to be a little bit too wide. Am I going to get the... Ripping paper isn't my forte. Oh, that's a bit tiny, isn't it? I might need to cut that on them. I did bring a, a trimmer with me, uh, not the greatest of trimmers, but I did bring one with me. All right, let me get that. Oh, all right, so there we are. So to do the ribbons, I would normally, I mean, they don't have to be perfect. I do have a, a kind of little um, hand stitcher with me and I'm, I will have a go with this off camera. I have done material with it and it is quite easy to use with material. However, I did try it with some fragile boot pages and it wasn't that great. Um, this is just copier paper, so I'm not sure whether this would be the best. So there you are, that's, that's all I'm doing. And normally at home with a sewing machine, I would fold all these up um, and then put them all on the, the sewing machine and just do them in one long stretch. Um, so I will fast forward this little bit on so I will go quiet now while I concentrate <laughs> 
Okay, so as you can see, I've done them. <clears throat> there's no perfect folding. There's different, um, different widths between folds. It doesn't really matter. Now, as I say, normally I would um, stitch these. Uh, so I am going to go offline and have a go with this this sewing um, little handheld sewing machine, and I will come back to you. Well, the little sewing machine didn't work; it was just too much of a fiddle. So what I'm doing is I'm using a glue stick, and I'm just gluing in the folds, and then pushing it under. Because you've already concertinaed it up, mm, your fingers do get a little bit sticky, but and it doesn't have to be stuck down perfect because it's going to get glued down with um, quite a strong glue at the back. So there we are. So they look quite pretty. And as I say, you can use anything. I mean, if you've got children, you can get your, your children to do some poster paints and then, you know, just different colours. and Or you can do it colour themed, you know, just give them one pink and blue. And the other one green and yellow or whatever. I think they look quite pretty. So I'm just getting my journal. Now this is the journal that I made. Um, move these out of the way. I, my camera's a bit too low um, I've not found anything that I can put my camera to, at a better height yet so this is the journal that I made um, as you can see <laughs> that's us on the plane we, we actually managed to get going although we had to fly from Edinburgh to uh, London and then fly out from Gatwick so I'm looking for a page that I can put these on so I'm just going to tip my fabric tack upside down. Um, I don't want to put it on a, a, a page like that. And I don't want to put it on a page that's got lace on already. Um, how about that one? And then we'll just put that. That looks quite nice. So... I'm going to put this one down. I'm putting quite a bit of fabric tack on. Sorry, I'm out of camera view. I'm putting quite a bit of fabric tack on. I will get a better setup. Um, we're just looking around the villa now to, to find somewhere. And I want it to stick out there. There is some little tables and that that we can maybe lift up a little bit um, to fix my camera to. It's not a camera, it's my phone I use. So there we are. And if you wanted to, I mean, you can put four stitching on these. Uh, where's my little sharpie? So, you know, you could... Put some stitching on. You can even do some. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just what you want to do. Mm. 
you can put the you, you know you can do your four stitch and if you want to do it neater you can do it before you you stick it on so so that's one little journal oh, I'm just getting my scissors one little journal page and all you do is just cut off the remainder or if you want to leave them hanging over I quite like that so that's my my little journal page also when I was in the um, the airport I picked up some free magazines you know they have Grazia and Tatler and um, I think this is this is Tatler and what I did notice in the back was all these like little squares pictures and I'm going to fussy cut them out because I thought they'd they'd do a nice cluster um, roll um, you know there's some really arty ones it is a glossy magazine um, Grazia however isn't but there's one two three four some of its makeup some of its models but these will also do for, for collage. Um, but I was quite quite pleased with, with that. There's also some nice, uh, you know, you could do sort of like your strips um, out of a magazine as well. Um, I noticed there was some nice colours in this one. I think it was this one. So I wanted to have a look at what this one looked like. As just let me get this moved out the way. Let me get this magazine back. So there you've got the nice blues. This is like a travel magazine, so you've got this one here. I mean, you don't have to have the the man and woman on and this this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this one so I'll take the page out it's easier to work with I've read the magazine I didn't just get it for, for crafting however when I saw them that was the first thing that came to mind oh um, but I did read them on the plane And there you have a strip and I just fold them you know from the back um, it is, there's no rights and wrongs of how you how you fold them if you want perfectly um, you know the distance to be perfect you could put it on your scoreboard if you haven't got a scoreboard you can use your ruler I'm not you know that doesn't bother me um, and you can also paint over it. The one thing I forgot to bring with me was gesso. I would have liked some gesso. But there you are. So that's a... And you can put lace over the top of it. I've got some... That's just blue bits. Um, let me get this. Just to show you what it's like with the lace. I think these are it's trims from kids' bobbles and dance dance outfits. But there, and there you've got. I mean, you can ink these. Um, I've got any ink? I have brought ink with me, but we'll see. Yeah, and with it being a, a, a glossy page, um, it doesn't quite well. So you can use a, a coordinating colour. And I think that would look quite nice. As I say, you can do it with anything. You can do it with coffee dye and things like that. Um, 
I've also uh, got some fussy cuts and that that I'm going to be putting in the pages. So thank you for joining me. Um, um, you know, if, if you want to, to carry on and follow my journey while I'm in Cyprus doing my travel journal, I am going to do the spring journal as well. Please um, subscribe. Um, if you hit the bell, it'll let you have the notifications of next time I put a video up. But please comment. Um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment if you would like to see anything. I'm willing to try anything. I'm not an expert. Um, I'm just a junk journaler. Um, crafter just like most of you guys out there but thank you very much so I'll see you next time bye